Science. In this video, let's talk about how to solve percent of a number problems. And I'm going to show you three different ways. You can convert to a fraction, you can convert to a decimal and multiply, or you can estimate using 10% or other numbers. So let's get started. Okay, our first problem will be this. And we have percent of another 25% of 20. You can first, let's use the fraction form, and you can convert 25% to 25 over 100. Now, think of of as multiplication, and then you can rewrite 20 as 20 over 1. Whenever you have multiplication of a fraction, you just multiply straight across 25 times 20. And I've done that ahead of time. 25 times 20 is 500. And then 100 times 1 is 100. We know that we can, to reduce this, we can get rid of the zeros. And that equals 5 over 1, which is equal to 5. So that's the first way. The second way, we can convert 25% to a decimal by just moving a decimal places, place two places to the left. So it would equal, move it two places to the left. There's 1, there's 2, so it equals 0.25. Now we can multiply it by 20, because remember, we, we are replacing the of by multiplication. Now, whenever you multiply decimals, you just multiply as if there are no decimals there, and then you adjust at the end. And what I mean by that, there's two numbers to the right of the decimal. So the final answer needs to have two numbers to the right of the decimal. So let's multiply this. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 2 is 10. Uh, let's make sure we're doing this properly. Um, 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. Now we bring down the zeros. 4 plus 1 is 5. Now remember, we need two numbers to the right of the decimal, so I'm going to put a decimal right there, so that equals 5. That's the second technique. Now the third technique is your you can kind of estimate using 10% uh, or other numbers. So 25% of uh, 20, I'm going to first do 10%. And 10% of 20 is easy because I can just move the decimal one place to the left. So 10% of 20 equals 2. Now I can just repeat that 10% again, and I'm up to 20 of 2, so now I'm up to 4, or 20 percent, and then 5 percent of 20. I know that if 10 percent is 2, 5 percent is going to be half of that, or 1. So now I'm up to 10, 25 percent, so I have 25 percent here, and I just add the numbers together. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is so, notice I have three different ways, a fraction, converting it to a decimal, and then estimating. Let's work another one of these, and uh, it works the same way each time. So this time, we're going to do 35% of 400, okay? And let's work the same thing. Let's first convert it to a fraction, 35% can be converted to 35 over 100. I'm going to then rewrite 400 as a fraction with 400 over 1. I'm going to multiply straight across because whenever you have fractions, you just multiply straight across. And 35 times uh, 400, I've done it ahead of time, and that equals 14,000 over 100 because 100 times 1 is 100. I can get rid of two zeros. Hopefully it's not too messy. So that leaves me with 140 over 1, and I can reduce that further to 140. So that's the fraction technique. Now let's convert 35% to a decimal, and that equals 0.35. Now, I'm going to multiply it times 400 because we can always replace the of with multiplication. 
And remember, when we multiply decimals, it's multiplied just like there's no decimals and add the decimal at the end. So 400 times 35, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 4 is 20. We have 0, 0, and then that is 12. So we have 0, 0, 0, 2 plus 2 is 4. 14,000, but remember, we need two numbers to the right of the decimal, so I'm going to put a decimal right there, so that equals 140. Now we're going to estimate 35% of 400, 10%, remember, just move the decimal one place to the left, 10% equals 40, another 10% equals 40, another 10% equals 40 so we're up to 30 percent and now we need a 5 percent and we know half of 40 is 20 so now we're up to 35 percent and add these together 4 8 12 140 so there's the second way estimating and let's work one more problem just to make sure we've got this and i'll go extra fast Convert to a fraction, put 2,000 over 1 to make it a fraction, multiply these together, I've done this ahead of time, it equals 60,000, 100 times 1 is 100, take off two zeros, so that equals 600 over 1, which equals 600. Now let's convert it to a decimal, 30% equals 0 0.30 times 2,000. Okay, multiply it like normal. 2,000 times 30, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3 times 0, 0, 3 times this 0, 0, and 6. Bring down all the zeros. 60,000, but remember, we need two numbers to the right of the decimal, so I need to put a decimal point there, so that equals 600. Now we're going to estimate 30% of 2,000, 10%, move the decimal one place to the left, is 200. Another 10%, excuse me, not 20%, 10% is 200. And another 10% is 200. I'm up to 30%. Add these together, two, four, six, hundred. So there's three different ways. So again, in summary, you can use fraction, convert to a decimal, or you can estimate if you would like. In fact, uh, this is fairly easy uh, if the numbers are pretty good to do it in your head. Um, if you'd like to know more about percent of and percents, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.